In this video, we'll go over how to use follow-up forms on your mobile device. The first half of this video will go over how to start and assign a follow-up form. The second half will show you how to find and finish the form when it's been assigned to you. To start with, while filling out my monthly inspection, I've found an extension cord that's in pretty rough shape and we need a new one. So I need to request that the company buy a new cord. So I'll select the flag icon and pick a corrective action as my flag type. First, I'll select Insert Flagged Item next to the label field to insert the question and answer that I flagged automatically into my label field for my follow-up form. Now I can fill out the information about the action that's needed. I can assign this to one or several workers, in this case our office manager and my supervisor, since either one of them can go buy a new cord. Now I'll let them know that I need a new one by Monday with my due date, and I'll fill in the corrective action needed. I'll leave the follow-up section blank for now, since that's the item that they'll use to document the action they took. At the bottom of the form, I'll select Save and Return to Form, and this will take me back to my inspection form so I can continue on with my day. You'll notice here that the flag icon has now turned orange to show that there's a pending follow-up form that has not been signed yet. Once I sign this original form, the follow-up form will be sent to the two people that I assigned. And that's it. Simple, right? Now let's take a look at what it will look like from the supervisor's side. When I unlock my device, I can see that I have a notification from the SiteDocs bot right here on my lock screen, just like an email or a text message. It shows me some basic information about a follow-up that I've been assigned, so I know that I can go check it out in my SiteDocs app. When I open my app, I can see that there's a notification number next to the home icon, as well as where it says follow-ups on my home page. Now I can follow that number through, through follow-up type, assigned to me, and the due date. I'll select the form that's assigned to me, and now I can open the flag form item section to see the information about the item that was flagged on the inspection form, and even click this link to see the full original form. Now scrolling down, I can see that one of the sites needs a new extension cord. So I'll fill in the action I took, in this case, dropping off a new cord, and select Sign and Save Document What I Did. Once this is done, the SiteDocs bot will also send a message to the worker who started this form to let them know that the form's been finished. Now that we're all done, let's take a quick look at the inspection where this flag originated from. You can see that the flag icon has now turned green so that we know that the follow-up has been taken care of. And that's all there is to it. You can see that SiteDocs gives you a quick, easy way to communicate important items to your colleagues all through our mobile app. If you have any questions about follow-up forms or anything else to do with the SiteDocs program, please reach out to our amazing support team at support at sitedocs.com.